morning. How are you? Well, if it's morning where you are, of course, if it isn't, hello. Um, I thought I'd have a go of this group build, and that's a particularly special one for me. It's for Chris Cortell, Classic Plastic 101, who, let's face it, most of us know or have heard of or watched the videos. He's a great guy, had a few health problems recently, well, yes, um, but he's fighting. He's going through the process and doing as best he can. He's also the bloody, really fantastic, annoyingly good modeler. And he gives fantastic advice as well. So I thought I'd do a join this group build. I, th I think it's uh, hosted by Papadan Models 2 and Transition Modeler. If I've got that wrong, I apologize. I'll put it at the end. His uh, names are terrible for me for some reason. But... The model I thought I'd do is this old airfix kit. Uh, it's of the Orion spacecraft from the uh, film 2001 A Space Odyssey. And they brought this out. Well, they brought out the original one <laughs> literally days after the film. Uh, but this iteration comes from about meh, much, much later, about 1973 ish, 1974 maybe. Something around there. So it's a pretty old kit. Um, as you can see, it's rather colourful. It's a little bit more colourful than uh, the actual movie, and uh, I suppose just to um, promote the, the model itself to kids like me. And uh, the thing is, have I got this wrong, but this is the Orion 2001 spacecraft, which obviously f flew in 2001. Well, I don't remember it. In fact, I don't remember this whacking great, great big space station on this side either. I mean, was I asleep? Was it... did I miss this? Oh, well, never mind. I must have done, I think. But what ha ever happened to the Orion spacecraft, I do do not know. Maybe it had crashes and then they decided not to build it anymore. Who knows? Anyway, so I thought I'd build this. It looks really cool. In the movie, it looks really cool. And so I thought I'd have a go with this. Um, it, I've been a bit slow on the old models this year, uh, what with health issues and work and my phone pinging for some reason. Uh, so let, uh, let me show you what I've done anyway. So Chris, this is for you, me old mate. And here it is. Um, now, we may know that uh, in 2001 The Space Odyssey, the TV film, or the movie, I should say, silly me, um, this actually had uh, Pan Am decals or decals um, all over it and stuff, and it looked like a Pan Am ship. Um, and I didn't have any Pan Am decals um, at all, unfortunately, um, except in a really old kit, which I didn't want to use the use them from that old kit because it's worth a fortune and I want, want to build it so I actually ordered a uh, another kit which is this one it's a Pan Am uh, modern airlines by airfix again uh, special edition yay but the great thing about this is it had the Pan Am Dickles the round door especially is the one I, I wanted but I also had uh, Lufthansa Dickles as well and that was great and of course on here you got this this must have been a later version of of their uh, scheme and this proved to be far too big i just could not fit this pan am dickle onto the uh, onto the model at all it was just too big too big so i thought you know what we'll go for lufthansa instead i'm sure there are other countries actually sending orions up in space it, the orion was built by boeing anyway uh, I'm sure they sold a few. So um, we just decided to go for Lufthansa instead. And I'll keep these uh, Pan Am ones for another scheme at a later date. Oh, yes. mm -hmm. And I've got a kit with, um, you know, I can still make this kit, not that I really want to, but um, airline kits, you know, I remember when I was a kid, you know, they were easy builds. <laughs> so here we are. This is the Orion, um, Lufthansa, uh, and as you can see, it is very, very streamlined. I do like like it, I have to say. Um, it looks cool. Yeah, I was just looking at it myself. <laughs> I quite like it. There was a few problems here and there, as usual, mainly with the dickles, which were dicky, dicky, awful, crappy things. Actually, they weren't that bad. 
it's just that I had a little bit of problem with the Lufthansa, as, as you can see on there. Um, I had a few problems. One of the problems was, well, as you can see on this side, it doesn't have a Lufthansa because it sort of, as soon as I took it out, out of the water, um, it curled up into a tight little ball and I could not uncurl it. Uh, so I, what, I did what all modelers would do if they've got a, a dickle that curls up into a tight little ball and they can't use it. I flicked it across the room with my finger. It's probably still over there somewhere. Anyway, I'm going to order probably another one of these kits <laughs> because you get two lots of uh, dickles in there. Uh, it's always handy and it's actually cheaper than buying these things, um, you know, just buying the, the sheet itself. As you can see, it's, uh, it's blue and white with a bit of trim of yellow. The yellow was done with um, a vinyl tape and uh, it looks quite cool. I like it. Uh, I didn't think it would work out too well, but uh, from a distance, as always, it's not too bad. The other little thing I did wrong, uh, and there's many, is that these roundels here, uh, the Lufthansa roundel with the beard, it are actually pointing in the wrong direction. Uh, they should be pointing forward, not backwards. But I didn't notice that for quite a long time, actually. Um, and I'm sure there's a few of you going to say, Oh, yeah, he's done that, hasn't he? Oh, my God, what's he done? Yeah. Um, essentially, it looks like the bird is trying not to get into space and trying to get back, back to Earth as quick as it can. Uh, I'm going to have to lift the camera. I don't want to get too close. Too close is not good. <laughs> I've also painted the bottom, if you might be able to just about see. The bottom is black, has a black stripe. Go all the way down. Um, I think it looks quite cool. Let's have a, we'll lift this up. That's a different angle. Uh, does that help? If I hold it steady. Um, oh, and also, I'm, just, I, I'm doing this video because it's just the time I have available to do the video. Um, it needs a last gl gloss coat. And, um, oh, I've got the antenna that usually goes out the back here. But I left it off because I've um, put it onto the shaft. And it's fallen backwards a couple of times because, um, yeah, I didn't really get the center of gravity. Never mind. But there we go. That's the Orion. Thank you very much for all your help, uh, Chris. You're, you've been a pal. You have really been a pal. And I hope, really, really hope that you beat this horrible thing that you have for the third time. Eh, uh, I think you will. Anyway, good luck to you all. I'll be trying to make more videos, not just modeling ones. I mean, as you know, my channel is about all sorts of bloody things um but also maybe a bit of lego here do you like lego if you do tune in and also some model rail videos as well i haven't done those for ages and i keep being asked for it and my most popular vi video is a model railway uh one so um yeah we're going to do that as well and maybe out and about now now that the w weather's getting nice and warm might go to the beach again oh that'd be nice okay then well, thank you very much for watching this video and this bit of waffle. And uh, see you soon. Bye-bye. The 9000 series is the most reliable computer ever made. We are all foolproof and incapable of error. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that.
what's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do.